Hello, how's it going? I am going to insert this at the beginning of my Vulcan series. Why not? I'm traveling, so I'm going to need a laptop with me, and my laptop, which runs Windows, is not so good. But all of this is to say that I'm going to go through an example of setting up Vulkan for a CMake project. And this will actually involve two components. First up is the CMake stuff, that's specific regardless of operating system. But secondly, I'm also going to be setting up in Mac OS, and I'll be going through the Mac specific stuff. But to start with, I guess this will be a really diffuse video in the sense that I'm just going to do it on the fly. So I'll pop into, say, my code, my old code, and I'll grab this. I'll grab something like some existing Windows code that I want to port, and I'll go over and actually I'll just paste it. Why not? Just put it right there. Now, all this uh, solution, VC proj, all of this stuff, I'll just go ahead and delete that. We don't need it. And I'll open up VS Code. And in VS Code, I will open up that folder. If we grab some existing Vulkan code, how do we set it up to run with CMake? So what I'm going to do is first up, I'm going to need a folder for my third party stuff. And inside there, I'm going to have GLFW and Vulcan. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the the GDEL, ah, why can I not speak? The GLFW headers and stick them in there. So it actually doesn't matter where we get these from, provided they are reasonable. So I'm going to make a new file, I'll call it GLFW3.h. And the other one is GLFW3 native.h. Okay. So the short answer is just go ahead and download them. No problem, any download should be fine, provided it is GLFW3 developer library. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste. Oops, wrong one, sorry. This is super exciting, but you can see what I'm doing. I am literally just copy pasting from the source files, which I had open in another tab. I know it's a little janky, it's not super satisfying, there it is. Um, now, as for installing Vulkan in the system, we can go and download the Lunagy SDK. Not sure why it's hard to find, but here we go. Download. And we've got a bunch of these. Okay, so here we have these. Um, I'm on Mac, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and download the Mac SDK. So pretend that I downloaded that. I've got that here actually. All right, so right down the bottom here, I've got this DMG. I can open to extract it. And we have this install Vulkan app. We can pretty much just run it. It's fine just to click yes, 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 as we go through. And then when we're done, simply eject. We're done, it's installed. We will need to do a little bit more though. So if I go to my home page, my root directory, we can see that it's downloaded here to this Vulkan SDK folder. Inside here, we have a few different versions, but this is the version which is currently installed. And then we have this macOS folder. Now inside this macOS folder, there's include, and then Vulkan. So what we can do is just grab this stuff, and that is all of the Vulkan headers that we'll need. So we'll just go into the, the Vulkan folder that we made, paste that stuff. Now we've got all the headers that we need. That's really good. It's probably a good idea to also configure Vulkan in the system so that when we go and search for the Vulkan library, the system can find the underlying binaries, the, di the dialibs and stuff like that. 
So we'll just open up item. And the way we can do this is we'll go change directory into Vulkan SDK 1.328, I think, just like that. And then we can go, all right, um, well, let me, let me just list what's there. It's this install Vulkan.py script that we want to do. So what we can do is we can say, um, actually, so basically the instruction is we want to run this install vulcan.py. What I'm going to do is that's a Python script, so I'll launch Python 3. And you'll notice here I'm being a little careful with my use of language because the truth is this will be slightly different for various different systems for various different reasons. But the basic idea is I want to run whatever the name of my Python program is. It might be Python 3, Python 3.12, just Python, any of that. Pass it the message. Oh, I don't know if I need that, actually. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, it works. Okay, so what this has done, again, that command was, you know, Python, and we want to run this install Vulkan Python script. Now, I've already got this installed, so it's already looked in here and said, hey, we've got all this stuff. You're all installed. You're all good to go. So no problem. We can actually leave that there. And now what I'm going to do is, if all of this worked correctly, Vulkan should be installed on our system. So again, we've installed Vulkan on our system. We've fetched the Vulkan headers. We've got GLFW headers as well. And GLFW is properly installed in my system already. But if you're not sure on how to do that, there's, there's lots of info available. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up CMake. So I'll say uh, make CMake lists dot text. So I know that's a little hard to read. That was CMake lists dot text. And here I'm going to specify a few things. So first up, I'll set the project. Um, I'll just call this test. That's my project name. So there's a few stages I'm going to need to go through. Gonna, not going to do this all at once. What I'm going to need to do is uh, find the Vulkan package. So I say find package. Vulkan. And then I'm going to include the dependencies directory. For this, I'm going to need the project name. Oh my goodness. Can we just chill with the autocomplete for a second? There we've got it. Okay. So now we'll be able to see those header files, and finally I'm going to link the libraries. There we go, target link libraries. So again, we'll need the name of the project, and then the libraries that I'm linking. So we're going to have GLFW, and it's a little tricky, it's a Vulkan, Vulkan. Fun. Cool. So let's test this out. We're not 100% done, but I think it's good to just do things along the way. So we'll just view the command palette and then I'll click up here, CMake, delete cache and reconfigure. And then I'll select the compiler that I'm going to use, CLang in this case, and it fails. It says, hey, um, what does it say? There we go. Right. So it says, all right, I see that you're making a CMake project, but you have not specified the minimum CMake version that you're requiring. Okay, no problem. So we'll pop up here, we'll say 
minimum required. On my system, I've got um, version 3.28, I think. So there we've got it. Okay, so we've gone through that. That's fine. And now it said pretty much that it can't find the the source code. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some executables. There probably are more elegant ways of doing this, but I like to do it this way. And this is actually, I looked this up online. I'm not, I'm not sure about this, but I looked this up online and it seemed to be that the recommended way of including executables was to physically enumerate through the text files. I can actually, why am I talking to myself? But anyway, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going through and I'll be adding each of the source files. That's the CPP files. We don't need to worry about the headers, just the source files. This will just take one second. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and added all of those, those source files there, those executables. We can just go and save. And it says, all right, we've done it. We've built it. Okay, so then I'm not sure how visible this is. Oh, it's not visible because of my screen. So I'll bring it up. Um, down here at the bottom, we have this play button. So I'll just go ahead and run that. And we've got an error. So usually when I get these errors, it's a bit of a puzzle, but I try to go from the top down. So I've just scrolled right up the top. And we've got this error here. It says Vulkan HPP needs at least C++ standard version 11. So remember I said with the CMake file, I'm not doing everything all at once. We're breaking it down. So actually we need a little bit beyond C++ 11. I'm going to use C++ 20. I think 17 would work fine. But anyway, the way we set that is we go set CMake CXX standard, and I'm going to set that to 20. Wow, oh, oops, no comma. There we go. Okay, so give that a save. And again, it said, all right, we're ready to go. So we'll run it. And now it has built it. It has executed it, executed it, but then it's failed. Okay, so Again, I'm not sure how visible this is, but right down the bottom, it says um, we failed on, well, it's a little much because I don't, you know, it's failing um, and validation hasn't been set up yet. But basically what's happening is that we failed here upon instance creation. And that's okay. That's expected with Mac. If we were on Linux, it would work. But for Mac, I just need to make a few modifications. So there are two extensions I need to request and one additional flag that I need to set. And that needs to happen in the instance creation. So if I go down, I'll minimize this. Here we are, make instance. And here I've got my extensions. Okay, so here I've got my enabled extension count. I'm going to just add two to that because like I said, we're going to have those two extra extensions that we're requesting. After I add my GLFW extensions, I'm going to define, actually, I'm just going to do this. make an offset and this offset will be for all of the extensions oh, 
OK. And then I'm going to add on those extra two extensions. One of them is the Vulcan Kronos portability enumeration uh, extension. Um, and the other one is, what is it? Get physical device properties to and I can actually bring this together there we go so great we've got those extensions we can sort of run this and see what happens now as we can see it's still failing but I think it's good practice to look in here. So looks like we're requesting um, Cronus Surface and Metal Surface. It's what I would expect for Mac. And we've also got those two portability and physical device properties too. Great, we're requesting those as well. And we're also requesting debug utils because that's just what I was doing at this stage in the code. Awesome. So in addition to that, if we go right down to this instance create info, we've got these create flags. And in addition to these create flags, I'm going to request instance create flag bits and the portability flag as well. So again, this is the Mac specific stuff, everything else, as well as the installation, whatever. Um, but the Mac specific stuff is we need these two extensions, portability and device properties too, physical anyway. And we also need this portability flag. So now really, really fingers crossed. Awesome. So we've got the window up and it is behaving as expected. Okay. so. I'll leave that for now. So this is just a little preview of the series and setting up in macOS with CMake. All right. Bye.